Thanksgiving is almost a week away. Are you ready for a feast? Emily Deem is live at Moraine Park Technical College giving us some helpful Turkey Day tips. Hi, Em. And you got to start with the turkey too, right, Rachel? We're Absolutely. in the kitchen this morning with students and staff out here at Moraine Park Technical College, the culinary students. Instructor James Simmers is here with me and his student, Megan. And we're showing different ways on how to prep the turkey. Prep the turkey, get the turkey ready for the oven. Uh, make something a little different maybe even. And what we're doing here, Megan is going to be putting olive oil and we've done some herbed olive oil here, which is some of our favorite herbs, oregano, a little bit of basil and that dried. And she's going that and she's making like a pocket under the skin and you can see where she's rubbing the oil on. And what this does is it helps to moisten up the breast a little bit. Because um, a lot of people complain that that breast can be a little dry sometimes. And that's why we're doing this, adding a little fat, but also adding a little bit of flavor too as well. Okay, and what so, do we have next? And next over here, we've, uh, we have a turkey that's actually brining. And if you look, we've also added some herbs to that. And the basic rule for a brine is about a half a cup of salt to one gallon of water. After that, you can have some fun with it. You can do uh, different things, like we added oranges here. We added some of our favorite herbs again. A lot of people like the sage in that with a, with a turkey. Mm -hmm. um, so you can certainly add sage. All of that is gonna be infused in about the 24 hours or so that we like to brine it. You can do it a little bit longer if you want to, up to two days. Make sure you have a non-reactive container though. Right here, we're using stainless steel. You don't wanna use anything that's like an aluminum pot or that okay. because what happens is the salt might react with it. Okay, this next yep. one has to be my favorite. This is the one that everybody loves. This is the bacon lattice breast. Again, we're kind of infusing that fat into the breast of the meat and what that does is keeps it moist and keeps it juicy uh, when we serve it and that way it'll have the same juiciness as some of that dark meat yeah. but of course it's the lighter meat which a lot of people prefer. Uh, not a low calorie option but certainly one that's fun. Yeah, only well. once you know a year, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly, you know, moderation. And what do we have over and here, James? Over here, we're just uh, uh, roasting another one of our brine turkeys right here. And you can see a lot of juice in there as well. And we might get ready to take the temperature, too, because what we want is we want to take the temperature right in the deepest part of the turkey, which is going to be right about there at the thigh. We want to see 165, definitely, because we want they have a safe Thanksgiving. We don't want anybody to get sick. So it's very important that we see. And we can see this one's at about 135. Also, you want to take a temperature maybe in the middle of the breast, too, but don't touch the bone because that will give you an artificial reading. We also have from the manufacturer the pop-up one. Sometimes you're going to get a reading of 165 maybe before that pops up and what will happen is we get something called residual heat as it's sitting on the counter it's going to go ahead and pop out of there. Okay so, and then any tips for how long you want to cook it and what heat you should cook it at? Basically everyone's oven is different so I don't always like to say you know this many minutes per pound or something yeah. like that because everyone's oven is different. This is a convection oven with air. Some are dead air. You're not sure if it's you know balanced right. So follow those manufacturers instructions but this is your best tool using the instant read thermometer to make sure that you're at the right temperature so you have a safe Thanksgiving. Thank you so much James. You're welcome. Getting us ready for Turkey Day. All the information is online too if you want to check it out. We'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks Sam. Good stuff.